Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Scorpio for August of 2018. Um, I apologize for the readings coming out so late, um, but I am trying not to work as much, so I am not doing um, readings for the month of August, but I will be back in full effect in September. I Good news though, I will be doing the free readings, um, so if you would like a chance to win a free reading, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure to comment on this video. Um, in order to enter to win the free reading, I will be pulling those readings on August 26th. Okay, so Scorpio. Scorpions, right? Um, I had to do your reading again. Uh, I didn't do your reading, but I shuffled, I dealt, then I had to shuffle again and dealt, and it was like I wanted it to be perfect. And I'm getting that type of energy. And the energy that I was feeling was that you're flying high. Um, and again, however this resonates, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, but some of these messages are going to be what you need to hear. Um, and if it does not resonate, or if it does, check out your moon and rising signs as well. But I saw, like, I literally see somebody flying above, like flying. Um, so this could be you, like flying high. I do feel like the energy in the beginning of August, like you knew what you wanted, um, balancing, all that in the beginning of August. Um, or this could be that spirits are with you, okay? I'm, I'm seeing angels as well. So the angels can be with you, especially with the lion's gate happening right now. Um, you know, it was on 8-8, but the energy is still high throughout the month of August where the angelic realm is open. Um, so if you're feeling more intuitive, if you're feeling more uh, connected, that is definitely on point because that this is when it's going to happen. So meditation is a key at this point. Um, like just keep going. The first card that popped up and this kept popping up was the two of cups. So, you know, you can see like, this is a, a relationship. This is a partnership, the two of cups here, mostly in love. So this, again, this, this relationship is going to be a lot about love. Um, or if it resonates with you in a different way with work or whatever, but I do feel a lot of love in this relationship. Um, so the two of cups here. And then right next to it, you've got the Two of Pentacles. And then next to that, you've got the King and the Queen of Wands. So to have those coupled, paired together like that, is definitely telling me that, you know, you might be married and you guys might be like literally in the beginning of August at this point, um, like everything's coming to fru fruition. Um, like everything that you want is coming. Okay, you can feel it, you know it. And it, it's like you're excited. That's that flying high. Okay. Um, I think maybe something that you've been wanting for a very long time might be finally coming through. Like you finally have the balance. You finally feel your energy back. Um, the next couple of... I'm trying to get this card here. Let me just deal this. One card for Scorpio for the month of August. Two cards, please. Hmm. Okay. Um, so the next cards here is you have the page of swords. Now that again, that's like a delayed offering. So next to it, you have the magician. Next to that, you have the lovers. And then next to that, you have the three of swords. Now with this combo here, like I said, I feel a lot of this flying high could be dealing with a relationship, could be dealing with a marriage because you got the king and the queen of wands side by side here. So the relationship could be going good in the month of August. Um, towards the middle of the August, like, I feel like you're working on it. It's something, it's delayed, okay? Something that's been delayed, it's coming through. However, you got the magician. And with the magician and the lovers and the three of swords right next to it, I feel as though you're still working on this partnership. You're working on this marriage. You're working on this relationship. Okay. Um, I feel it'd be a good thing. You know, the Three of Swords is there. So you might have been a little bit heartbroken in the past. Maybe things aren't exactly how you want it to be. But with the Magician here, the Lovers and the Three of Swords, I feel like you're fixing it. Something's happening. Some Somebody's responding. Somebody's... Um, 
I feel like it's a teamwork of working together, okay? Because you do have right next to that, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So towards the end of the month, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like with the Four of Wands here in this deck, I feel like this is about communication. So I feel like you're going to be communicating. However, Scorpions, you've got the Queen of Swords. So this Queen of Swords knows how to get what she wants, all right? The word I'm getting here is assertiveness with this card. So make sure, because you got the hangman too. Uh, for some of you, I'm seeing that you might have to be a little bit short with your words to get what you want, to change the perception, to change the dynamic, okay? You might have to um, say it how it is. And tough love is what I'm getting, okay? Uh, for others of you... I feel as though you're going to have to cut out hanging around for somebody. All right. So however that resonates with you, however this communication goes, most of you I'm feeling like it's a little bit of tough love that's going to be needed. Like, listen, this is what I want. This is what I need. And I'm not settling. Boundaries. Okay. I just did a video on Facebook. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, please do so. I uh, did a video with some free tarot card readings um, about boundaries. And it's like you have to state your boundaries so that people know how to treat you, how to respect you, okay? Because um, then you've got the King of Cups over here. you got the King of Cups along with the Nine of Pentacles along with the Wheel of Fortune. So the King of Cups here, you know, it's somebody, it's that, it's that energy that knows what they want and can express it with love. It's all about love for, for each other, for everybody, for himself. Um, and then you've got the Nine of Pentacles. To me, with this card, you can see the tiger here. She's sitting there, and I feel like her face there is like, listen, this is what I want, and I'm not settling. So, you know, it's the independent card. So even though you're in a relationship, okay, um, things are going to work out your way if you stand your ground. All right? However that resonates, if this resonates with you with work, you know, it could be, you know, things are going really well. You're manifesting what you want, the position you want. Um, you know, there might be some, you might have to stand up for yourself. You might have to, you might have to put yourself out there and you might have to tell people like, no, like I've been here longer. I deserve this promotion. You know, however this resonates with you. Um, because don't be, don't like you got the hangman. So it's like sticking around, you know, but you might, I, I feel like for most of you here is, in some regard, relationship, family, um, work, you're going to have to stick up for yourself. You're going to have to, you know, with the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords here, you might have to, and the Three Swords, you might have to put some words out there, all right? With love, but a little bit of, of assertiveness. All right, but the, the Wheel of Fortune card, it's going to be in your favor. Stand up for yourself. Create those boundaries, all right? Go on Facebook, watch that video I did about boundaries. Over here, you've got focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. All right? So when you focus on love, you bring more love in. When you focus on the good, you stop worrying about the bad. All right? So focus on love. And then you have I love you. I love you. And it says these are very important words. When you say them, mean them. When you hear them, accept them. I'm also getting to say that, you know, once I did this, I forget where I talked about this, but when, you know, one's form of love is not another form of love. This might be along with the boundaries as well. Um, you know, so if you think buying somebody something is a form of love, um, talk about love languages, right? There's a book on love languages. I've never read it, but I know that there is. So different people have different languages of love. Somebody can say, oh, or somebody can feel as though if somebody bought them dinner, that's a sign of love for them. Um, another person will say, well, if they say I love you, that's enough for me, okay? Or if they cuddle with me on the couch, that's enough for me. So I love you, very important words. So, but I'm also getting, if this is the relationship resonates with you, even if you're not in a relationship, think about this. 
is that how do you express your love and how do you feel love? Do you express your love the same way you feel it? Because somebody else might need it expressed differently. And that's just what I feel like you need to hear for August. Okay? So if you are in a partnership, communicate. Four of Wands here. To me, and this card is about communication here. Talk to your partner about what they need, what they want. Okay? Talk to your partner about what you need and what you want so that you guys can be on the same page. And two of Pentacles over here is that balance. All right, so you guys can have that balance together. But you need to express and you need to, you know, communicate and express what you want. Uh, be the queen. You got the queen and the king. They know what to do. They know what they want. They know how to express it and they know how to get it done and they know how to get what they want. So if this is you guys, make sure that you're expressing the communication to each other. Okay, so I'm getting for some of you. I know that was a lot of a relationship stuff, uh, but again, if it re <coughs> resonates with work, <coughs> whatever resonates, whatever messages you needed to hear, I hope that you heard them. Um, I usually don't do relationship spreads, but I am using my um, Whispers of Love cards, so maybe that's why this is all coming out. Um, we need to live with more love in our hearts. All right, uh, make sure if you want to enter to win the free reading, subscribe and comment on the video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love to all of you. Bye.